Hi y'all, it's Darla with Growing Tropical. Welcome back to my channel. Well you guys, I have been um, outside all day in our backyard and I have been transforming our outdoor living space, which is right behind me here, from a summer to a more winter look. And uh, not just a winter look, but actually transforming it for the Christmas holiday. We're in the month of November and I love to be able to, as our weather gets a little bit cooler here in South Florida, I love to take our outdoor living space and I love to just make it a little bit more cozy for us. And what I mean by that is I love to bring out our heaters. I love to bring out our blankets. I love to get our hot cocoa bar going. Those kind of little special touches. And um, so that is what I've been doing today. I also had to clean before I started all that stuff because with going out of the, the uh, summer season, you know, there's just a lot of, um, well, dirt and everything else from just outside because this area, is open pretty much all the way around except for the back half um, and we have like Hularu shades that actually close down um, just little openings in the back to keep like the tree debris because the people that live behind us our neighbors they have like banyan trees and they have like oak trees and those trees get like really really dirty and so what we have done is we put Hularu shades back there to kind of keep all that debris out of there but um, what I do is I just like I said I go through and I just kind of clean everything up wipe everything down and of course for the Christmas holiday I bring things out like our Christmas tree and I just bring a lot of red and a lot of color which brings me to again here in South Florida our winter months we can just start delving into our beautiful beautiful winter annuals and y'all now because I live here in a more mild climate um, I can grow a lot of these things right outside here in the landscape in containers and hanging baskets and again just like you know in you know in the landscape itself and so I have just been like I said I've been working very very hard on this area and I am really excited to be able to flip the camera around and show you what all I've done so let me go ahead and and flip the camera around. Okay, so it's still a little bit of a work in progress. I have my blower and everything right here. Um, but let me go ahead and show you the things that I was able to accomplish today, starting with these two beautiful uh, planters. They have um, red and white in patience. Aren't they gorgeous? Now the camera, it may show that, it, it may look like they're a little bit more on the orangey side, but they are a beautiful red. And of course there is the white um, in, in with them as well. But I found these guys um, at uh, our local Walmart and I just jumped on them because the impatience here in South Florida, this is the time of the year when we start seeing this type of, um, of annual uh, going into the landscapes, whether it's you know directly sewn into um, the landscape or it is actually put into hanging baskets or containers much like I've done here. So that is what I started with today and that just, oh, it just excited me so much because I love impatience patience they're one of my favorite winter annuals um, here in South Florida and I just love them now these guys will go pretty much through the entire uh, winter uh, season for us I will just fertilize them with um, a um, you know uh, what is it uh, like a miracle grow or something like that and at, like a bloom booster um, to keep the blooms you know really going and to keep the foliage on there nice and deep and green so anyway that was one of the first things that I started planting up even before I uh, started cleaning everything up because I was so excited to get them in and they look so so pretty okay so walking up into the cabana you can see I have a lot of red going on in here and I just for the holiday season I just I love it I just love to bring out the buffalo plaid you can see in the pillows over here I've got a little bit of buffalo plaid going on and of course the red towels you know I bring those out for the season as well uh, things like the blankets I love to put blankets all around. I have quite a few more that I'm going to be bringing out, you know, as we go in um, or as it gets cooler and everything because we love to bundle up, you know, while we're watching TV or just kind of, you know, visiting with family and friends, um, that type of thing. But um, over here, of course, what would it be without um, a poinsettia? So I found these guys and I bought several of them actually. So I just kind of plopped one over in here. I thought about, um, cause this is my parlor palm that's over here in the corner. I thought about going ahead and just underplanting this parlor palm um, with some poinsettias. And I may still do that cause I've got plenty of room under there to do things, you know, like that. And um, I've done it over the years where I've, you know, underplanted with poinsettias and actually impatience uh, would be really pretty in there as well. But anyway, this parlor palm loves its spot. 
and um, I'm going to think about maybe whether I want to go ahead and just underplant him with um, with something. Not sure yet what, but anyway, um, I can't go up too far without showing you guys these. A couple of weeks ago, I planted up these beautiful containers, uh, or hanging baskets rather. There's two of them here, but I found at one of our local, it's a private local nursery um, here um, in town, and um, I found some beautiful wandering Jew, which you can see that beautiful purple and silvery foliage on that and they were absolutely gorgeous I paired them let me walk over here a little bit closer I paired them with um, some beautiful wire vine it's this little green guy that's right here and he's got plenty of room to grow I've got one there and I've got one over here on the other side and of course there's another wandering Jew let me flip this guy around here another wandering Jew here in the back side as well and then, of course, in the center, once again, because of the season, it wouldn't be anything without a poinsettia. So I've got, again, two of those. They're identical baskets. Um, the same thing as in this basket that was in um, the first one. But I just, um, I just love that red and that purple. I've been doing that now for um, a couple of seasons, and I'm just loving, you know, the color combination. I think it's just so very, very pretty. And I'm just kind of looking. I'm going to hone in. Look at this beautiful little flower. Whoops, let me get see if I can focus it on him. Look at that beautiful little dainty flower. Isn't he just sweet? I love it. The Wandering Jew, they're most notably known for um, this beautiful purple and um, silvery um, colored foliage. But um, the little flowers are just a little extra perk. Isn't that sweet? So anyway, I'm very happy that I was able to get those baskets done, like I said, a couple of weeks ago. And so, um, anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Um, I've got a Christmas cactus that's sitting here. I found these guys. These are pink. Um, they're very, very pretty. Just a real nice, kind of like a lipstick pink, I guess. But he's really got some, um, some blooms already on him that have already opened. And I've got quite a few um, that are ready to burst um, any day now. I like to buy the Christmas cactuses um, in um, the nurseries when they are like this. Um, I, don't get me wrong, I love it when they're open like this, but when they're when you buy them and there's a whole bunch of them, or almost the whole plant is all open like this, you don't really get to enjoy the beauty as long as when you can find some with buds as well. Because while these guys are going to be spent here probably in the next week, these guys are going to be opening and of course then it will you know, make that guy last a little bit longer for me. So I like to buy them, you know, when they have uh, buds as well as blooms on them. So anyway, I bought a couple of these guys and I just kind of distribute them, you know, throughout. So anyway, let's go ahead and move over to the other side. I don't want to make you guys dizzy. And of course, there's my Christmas tree. I did not decorate it yet. I didn't have time to do it um, this, you know, tonight or whatever to this afternoon. So that is something that I'm going to have to go ahead and do. I'm going to just, you know, get this all uh, decorated. I will probably enlist my daughter and get her to come out here and help me just go ahead and decorate that guy up. And of course, there's another poinsettia that's sitting right next to the tree there. I just dropped him down um, inside this, you know, cute little wire basket that um, that I keep out here. And um, it just, um, it's just so pretty. It's just, so, I love poinsettias. I just love this time of the year, you know, with all the color. I'm a, you know, if you guys, for those of you who follow my channel, you know, I am a girl who loves the colors. I love the hot oranges and the yellows and the reds. And I just love all those hot colors. So I kind of try to follow suit even in the winter months um, with all the beautiful hot colors and everything. So poinsettias are definitely um, a favorite of mine. So let's go ahead and move over into to uh, this side um, what I've done over here is I went ahead and plant I planted these poinsettias there are three of them in there and I just dropped them down inside of a um, another container and of course like I said they, they I, I say drop down I mean I actually planted these guys so there are three of them in there and they just filled out so beautifully this beautiful little container and it just I don't know when you walk up into the cabana it just says welcome and I just love it. So um, hopefully I'll be able to keep these alive and well um, right through, you know, Christmas and hopefully, you know, for several months after. I do have problems with the poinsettias myself. And I don't know if it's just living here in South Florida, but I get worms really, really bad. I've tried to, you know, after they are, are spent, um, I try to cut them back 
and you know try to you know follow all the um, you know the rules and the regulations of trying to get them to rebloom the next season but I never quite make it because like I said the worms get so bad and maybe if I had more time maybe that'll be a goal of mine going forward you know I could work on trying to see if I could get them to um, you know to come back year after year like I said they uh, once the blooms are spent on them and I cut them all back they grow beautifully um, I get you know dark beautiful green leaves on them and everything but then the worms come in and it's like it's such a battle and here in South Florida I battle so many bug issues that it, right now it's just easier for me to go to the store uh, to a nursery and just say okay I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy them this year and I'm not gonna worry about you know just um, you know bringing them through the whole the whole year you know for the next Christmas season so anyway these guys should last you know quite a few months for me um, here out um, under this cabana now the other thing is um, that I'm going to be working on and this is going to be in another video you guys but let me take you back here and show you this gorgeous ensemble if you will I've got I love bromeliads and they grow so beautifully here in South Florida but I bought this bromeliad um, I, I was going to buy them just like in a single, like just, you know, single containers, but I love this wire basket that it came in and the price was really pretty good on it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and buy the whole thing, even though I'm going to go ahead and dismantle it. I'm going to pull it out and I am going to actually, um, a, a, it was last year, I actually made, I'm going to pop up on the screen and let you guys see this real quick, but it is a, um, a, it was a, it's a white, a white glass container. And I planted up, um, I believe there were bromeliads in it. I know there were bromeliads in it. There were these, um, Chris, uh, the Chinese evergreen rather, that's this plant right here, the Chinese evergreen. And I also had um, anthurium in there, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna do something a little different this year. Instead of the anthurium, I'm gonna go with the Hedra Helix Ivy. And I just thought that might be really, really put, uh, really, really pretty if I could just kind of pair them together. I like the, um, the different textures in foliage and so that is kind of where you know where my mind was when I bought this just something a little bit different but kind of keeping with the same you know like I said the Chinese evergreen and the bromeliad I thought it would look really really pretty all in that white uh, container and like I said if you saw the one that I popped up on the screen it was absolutely beautiful and I mean it grew and I mean it just it was beautiful for months after Christmas so I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and do that again with just that one small little change with the um, with the ivy instead of the anthurium so anyway that is going to be something that I'm going to go ahead and also put together and then last but not least the thing that I, well actually I should say last but not least the one thing that I wanted to show you really quick um, when it gets a little cool here in South Florida so like today um, I've got long sleeves on because it was in the upper 60s and it's a little chilly out here but as the temperatures get um, damp at nighttime and it, you know and it goes into the you know 50s and 60s or whatever these heaters right here make it so beautiful out here I mean you can take a very uh, chill to the bone feeling and you turn those heaters on and I don't know I Robin and I have talked about this the design of this cabana the roof it slopes I'm not sure if you guys I'm kind of going off the beaten path here a little bit but our roof line it slopes it's high up here and then it slopes going down towards the back um, his father Robin's father was um, really helpful in helping us design this whole cabana area when we were um, when we were putting it together and so um, I love you know I, I had no idea neither did Robin that it would um, it, it would keep the heat in here the way it does and it actually it stays cooler in here in the summer months as well I um, mean I don't know it I we, we swear it has something to do with the design of the roof but um, it definitely holds the heat in here in the winter months and so we have two heaters up here right now and then generally over in this area we we put a third one especially if we're entertaining or something but this whole cabana area just stays so nice with um, you know with the heat and so again this is just a terrific um, a, just a terrific area outside of our home you know to be able to come into and just to be able to enjoy whether we're watching movies or you're reading a book or like I said I just love to come and sit out here and enjoy the fruits of my labors because I love sitting you know on either side whether I'm looking over on this side and checking out you know all the lush that's over on this side with my umbrella plants and my Eurekas and everything that are over you know over here see 
if you guys can see those. Yeah, but I've got Arika's all growing over here on um, the north side. But as we're sitting, you know, I can enjoy that as well as again over on the south side walking over here i can enjoy over on this area as well like i said the cabanas in, it's encompassed with um all you know all the greenery you know pygmy dates umbrella plants um spindle palms um arecas if i didn't say that i can't remember if i said that but this is what i look at now can you guys hear the sound of the pond it's it's nestled in back there um it's around the corner but if you can listen for just a second and that is priceless to me. That is so soothing, and I, and I love to hear that um, out here. That pond is gonna need a little bit of maintenance. We've got, um, that is on the docket for us to do um, here pretty soon. But anyway, you guys, the only other thing that I'm gonna have to do besides decorating the Christmas tree is gonna be working on our cocoa bar. And that sits over here. Let me go back over here. I feel like I'm walking all over here. Right here is just a plain, my plain little cart, and I transform this thing from, you know, a little tea cart, and I'm talking sweet tea, iced tea, because <laughs> that's what I drink through the summer months um, out here, but um, from, you know, going from a, my sweet tea bar um, to um, a, uh, a full-on cocoa bar, um, I just kind of decorate that all up, and what I'm going to be doing is I'll put that on, um, on maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do a little something or whatever showing you guys how I put together my cocoa bar. Let me know in the comment section if that's something that you're interested in. I did it a couple years ago. I put uh, put it together, and um, I, um, I, you know, maybe I'll do it again. And it's something you guys want me uh, to do. If you want to see, please, you know, like I said, just drop me a line and say, yeah, Darla, show me what you guys do because I think cocoa bars are just so cool, and I know they're very trendy and everything. People get really creative with them. I don't really get too, you know, too crazy or whatever, but I have fun with it. So, anyway, you guys, I think that is going to be it. I just kind of want to show you um, you know what I was working on today like I said transforming this area out here is um, is just something that I love to do because as we're going into those winter months we spend an enormous amount of time out here and I just um, I love it I love to make it nice and comfortable and clean and uh, just warm and fuzzy so you guys I'm gonna put it to bed I think that's all for now and uh, we will just plan on seeing you all in the next video bye for now